Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the game that is space. And in this video I'm going to be, you know, this series, The Crafty Dollar Space Agency, we're trying to unlock what we call the tech tree. And it's full of tech, so we're playing in science mode. For those experienced Kerbal Space Program players, you're also probably familiar with um, career mode. And career mode is kind of like Minecraft Hardcore. We're playing in science mode, and science mode is kind of like Minecraft Survival. And we have the creative mode type thing, which is sandbox mode. So in the first video, we tried to get to the moon. Um, unfortunately, that ended with a explosive demise. <laughs> Um, but we were, okay, so, yeah, uh, off camera I went to the moon again, I landed, but could not get out of the ship, because the ship was about to tip over, because it was so tall and thin. Uh, that's the whole issue with the ship we're using, in fact, it has received an upgrade, if you compare it with the ship from last... Uh, the, the rocket from the last video, but yeah, um, this this video is uh, commentated, and as you can see, we're going to Kerbin, the the home planet's second moon, Minmus. Uh, the reason I didn't show the moon landing on camera is because it it felt a little bit illegal uh, that I did not plant a flag or take any sort of surface samples. As you can see we're going into what we call orbit around Minmus for those who aren't familiar with how space works. Uh, we're doing something called orbit which means that we will circle around a planet or a moon in this case and uh, you might have seen, you might have heard that I called our planet, the, the home planet, I called it Kerbin, uh, not Earth. And that's because this planet is not Earth. Kerbal Space Program has its own solar system. We have the Sun, which people refer to as Kerbal, and it, its name is Kerbal, but uh, in the game you also call it the Sun, but most people call it the Sun, so it's the Sun. So you have Mo Moho, which is Mercury, and it looks almost exactly like Mercury, except it's brown, not grey and purplish like Mercury is. We have Eve, which is Venus, but instead of being Venus, it's instead of being the beige colour that Venus is, it's uh, purple. And then we have Carbon, and we have the Moon, which is not spelt with two O's, but it's actually spelt with a U, and even though you might not see it in the in-game text, it is actually supposed to be a U with two dots. So, uh, as you can see, we're just launching this next mission. I think I was trying to go back... I, I don't even know what I was doing that. I think I was trying to go back to Minmus and carry a few more experiments with me. Was I trying to go to the moon again? I, I forgot. But yeah, we have the moon, Minmus, we have Juna, which is kind of like Mars, and in a few episodes, uh, in like, maybe like, the episode after the next episode, we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna try and get in orbit of Juna, if not, then we're gonna get in orbit of Eve. Um, Eve has a moon called Gilly, I forgot to mention that. Um... Eve's moon, Gilly, it's completely different to how it is in the real solar system, because Gilly, well, uh, Venus doesn't have any moons. So it's kind of odd. Some people suspect that Mercury may have been Venus's lost moon. Now if you see the... if you see this weird... Uh, if you see like where my mouse is pointing to, was pointing to just a bit ago, uh, then you might have seen, uh, you might you might be seeing these numbers. Now this is something called Delta V, 
Delta is a Greek letter. It's basically D, but they call it Delta. And it de Delta V means change in velocity or speed. And uh, Delta usually is commonly referred to as change, a change in something like, like speed. And yeah. So we're uh, just getting into Kerbin orbit again. I forgot to say Juna is Mars. Or did I already say that? I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, Juna is Mars. Uh, it has a moon called Ike, which is completely different to how Mars's moons are. Mars has two moons called Phobos and, and Deimos. And uh, I guess Ike was supposed to be like what Phobos and Deimos would have looked like if they collided, but I'm not sure. Then we have Jewel, no, then after Juna, everyone forgets about this one planet, we, we have Drez. Now, uh, over here, right now, I was trying to get a surface sample of the mountains, but I couldn't. Uh, actually, it ended up in me exploding. Or the rocket exploding, and all the experiments were lost. So then I just loaded a, a persistent save, and I realized that, you know, surface samples, they're, they're kind of useless. Anyways, as you can see, this is the tech tree we've just seen, and the tech tree has all these, like, science stuff, and you can actually do experiments, and you can gain something called science points. And the science points will unlock different stuff in the tech tree. So now we're gonna get, we've got a few more parts, so we're gonna get that. We're gonna get a lot more parts after that. And in the next episode, we're gonna try and unlock the nuclear propulsion, the, the nuclear engine, which will get us to Juno. So Drez is uh, supposed to be that one dwarf planet in the asteroid belt. And Drez, uh, is, and, th and that one planet in the asteroid belt, the one dwarf planet, I call it a planet because I think that all the dwarf planets are planets. Um, that one dwarf planet is called Ceres. And it's, and Ceres is actually a very interesting planet because it has, um, it has something very weird about it, very strange. Let me explain. Um. It's got water underneath its surface, and it's got bacteria, uh, probably bacteria, living under there. And yeah, so as you can see, I'm just constructing this rocket. After Drez, we have Joule, which is Jupiter, and then we have Elu, which is Pluto. And Elu doesn't look anything like Pluto. So anyways, this is the rocket. Uh, if you want to see me launch this rocket, then I suggest you like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. It really helps me, gives me the motivation to make these videos. So anyways, we're running out of time. Um, we're going to launch this planet, uh, this rocket, hopefully to a planet, but I don't think we'll be able to do that. So anyways, hope you stick around for that video. See ya.